I'm here at Willow Canyon High School reporting about the Dysart Bond that's happening this fall. You have the chance as students to impact your school in, the, in many ways, from repairing to upgrading and so much more. To find out more about the bond, I sat down with Jim Dean, Assistant Superintendent for Employee and Public Relations. Well, several years ago, the state legislature during the Great Recession cut school budgets dramatically. And one of the areas that they really cut was capital funding to school districts. School districts used to get a large amount of capital funding every year for their budget that allowed for things like buying buses, that allowed for things like buying computers, allowed for things like expanding Wi-Fi on campus. And additionally, the state used to build schools, um, pay for the building of schools for school districts that qualified. Unfortunately, the state has cut those budgets to almost nothing. And so as a result of that, we currently do not have the ability to purchase those items with our capital funding. That's why the Dysart Governing Board has called for a bond election. A bond allows a school district to sell bonds to private investors and the taxpayers approve that bond and they promise to pay back the investors over the course of time. What a bond does for a school district is, is that it allows a school district to purchase capital items. The Dysart bond is a bond for $86 million that will allow the district to purchase technology, to both replace aging technology and to bring new technology in. It will allow us to uh, purchase buses. It will allow us to build a new elementary school in the south part of the district where growth is exploding. And it will allow us to have funds available to repair facilities for things like carpet, for things like paint, for things like roof repairs, those types of things. So what I can tell you is that in this particular bond, if the bond passes, there's more than 700 line items of things that would be purchased over the course of the next four to five years. Those things include uh, things like, um, like I stated, increasing Wi-Fi capacity on all of our campuses so that the bring your own device initiative can continue to flourish and we can allow more students to get online um, on our campuses. Additionally, we would purchase technology, we would purchase computers, we would purchase tablets, we would purchase several types of devices that would allow our students um, to be able to really be college and career ready when they leave our schools. Many students here at Willow Canyon also see a need for the bond. I mean there are a few things like a couple touch-ups that we could do to some of the buildings and just overall to make the school nicer and I mean if they did that it would definitely give the school a much better appearance and therefore a much better environment to kind of work or go to school in. In theater our problem is definitely uh, a budget because we use a lot of things. We have a lot of shows at, at Willow Canyon um, and we don't always have enough to pay for what we have. We recycle as much as we can but at some point we need new things. Like we've been using the same costumes over and over and over again and they're getting so worn and disgusting that it's almost impossible to use them because they're so covered in uh, different things we've added on, things we've taken off, stains from when we used them before and people didn't treat them with respect. So it's just it's hard to put on a really fantastic show like we strive to do with such a limited amount of resources. We would be ecstatic if we got more money for upgrades because our uh, sound system is nice but it has a lot of glitches and our light system tends to give out on us. We would just be so grateful just for anything we could get our hands on. Reporting from Willow Canyon High School, I'm Justin with WCTV Channel 22.